in my view, there are three main reasons why someone would move their analytical workloads to the cloud. The first one is speed, as time to deliver improves and cost decrease. The second one is innovation, as someone can easily use uh, the advanced AI tools that are out there. And the third one is empowerment of our people to work with data and the evolution of uh, the organizational culture towards a more data-driven approach. In the past, people used to do reporting by themselves, like export data from the various systems uh, onto Excel or some other tool, uh, transform the data uh, in there and deliver the reports to the decision makers. This led to too much effort as all the work would, ha would have to be performed from scratch, did not scale effectively, and uh, also led to inconsistencies as uh, one person could uh, use a different logic to create a report. Another person could do some something different. And then uh, there were inconsistent reports provided to the decision makers and that created problems. This led to the uh, innovation and uh, the development of the data warehouse, which uh, was a huge repository of data sourced uh, uh, from the source systems of the organization. The data was cleansed and transformed using formal business rules agreed uh, upon by the organization. And there were also reports that uh, uh, automatically refreshed every day and presented uh, the findings to the decision makers. This unfortunately led to a separate uh, class of problems as the data warehousing team became a bottleneck as all requests had to be passed uh, through the, that team and uh, that team would uh, need to create the ETL to get the data out of the source systems and the reports and uh, the cubes perhaps. This led to a lot of uh, burden on that team and this uh, inevitably led to delays and uh, in uh, delivering uh, these insights to the people. At the same time, ad hoc reports were difficult as the analyst would either need to learn SQL to get the data by, out of the data warehouse by themselves or wait for cubes to be built by the data warehousing team, which required more effort by that team, or um, ask uh, you know, for a favor the members of the data warehousing team to give them the the dead, some data sets to, to do reports on. And of course, there were analysts who needed raw data. For example, advanced analytics practitioners who needed to transform and uh, clean the data using their own perspective, or data scientists who also required unstructured data like video, pictures, sound, uh, which uh, were, was not covered. This kind of data were not covered by the traditional data warehouses. Uh, and this led to a situation that is common today and uh, it's characterized by quality reports from the data warehouse using structured data with high cost. Ad hoc reports creation e uh, either by having cubes in place, this kind of uh, data repositories or uh, reporting analysts do the same work as they used to do in the distant past. Of course, there are also data lakes who usually amass a large volume of data, but it's very difficult for the analyst to find the data uh, in there. So a cloud-based approach can help because, for example, Power BI empowers uh, business analysts to create to easily create reports and decision makers to easily consume the reports using mobile phones, tablets, uh, even natural language queries asking the report to give them more insights. The data analysts themselves are empowered because they can easily get the data out of the data warehouse and also uh, get data from other sources into their uh, reporting uh, uh, work. And as a matter of fact, it's uh, so simple that uh, enables anyone to become a data analyst. And this uh, fosters collaboration. You know, people collaborate on uh, creating reports and analytics. And this uh, 
allows for communities to emerge and uh, teams of experts to emerge and gradually this leads to a more uh, uh, data-driven uh, culture in the organization. Uh, when at the same time you use uh, Synapse, you have a workspace where all kind of analytical uh, work uh, is uh, in there. So the data flows to build a data lake, the data flows to build the data warehouse, the advanced uh, data science uh, work using Spark uh, uh, workloads, and also the reports themselves are embedded in that uh, workspace. And this enables for collaboration uh, between all these people. And this in turn uh, leads to uh, decreasing waste, as I would say. So uh, there's no need to build a huge data lake where you would amass all sorts of data in there and then a structured data warehouse uh, at a separate uh, kind of uh, workload where you would get the data from the source systems into a structured repository and then reports. Uh, you could uh, target, you know, if you want to do a report, you require from the data warehouse analyst to bring the relevant data into the data warehouse and this uh, leads to another request uh, toward the big data engineers to bring the relevant data in the data lake. Uh, so this allows for a more lean approach that eliminates waste, uh, improves time to deliver and decreased costs. And of course all these Work can be easily embedded in the Power BI reports, in applications, and uh, reused uh, in the future. Also in the cloud, you have scalability. You can uh, use as much computing power as you need with the press of the button. You only keep the servers uh, up and running for as long as you need them. And you don't need to have a huge investment in uh, uh, capex, uh, consequently decreasing costs and uh, risks. Now you can also use advanced AI capabilities without having the data talent in place. So Power BI uh, and, uh, uh, provides access to some of the uh, cognitive services out there like uh, the key influencers graph or the outlier de detection graph. But then if you use also Synapse, you can easily uh, use cognitive services to convert text to speed, translate text in real time, extract uh, topics from discussions in social media, for example, as well as the uh, identify the participants sentiment and also analyze video. So using footage from a convenience store, you can uh, detect pe uh, people in the in the video, their speed, their position, uh, you know, check for COVID, COVID uh, compliance, for example. Uh, identify sentiments, this man is uh, smiling uh, up there, or even verify that uh, the person that uh, appears in the picture is the same person as in another picture. And this does not require the, the data talent, just Synapse uh, uh, data flows can easily call upon these cognitive uh, services. And you can even automate completely decisions with AI, the simpler decisions, of course, the operational decisions, uh, while the more tactical and uh, complicated decisions uh, allows for the decision makers to leverage all this insight that you have uh, provided using those tools and when and if you also have data scientists in your team you can empower them using uh, providing them uh, easy to use graphical interfaces in Azure Machine Learning Studio and if needed of course uh, they can also do you know deep dives using Spark uh, clusters, Python, notebooks, uh, all the modern um, deep learning technologies either in Azure ML Studio or Synapse Studio where you, they can also use Databricks. Uh, and of course, all that work uh, can be easily embedded in, uh, in the Power BI reports. There are graphs uh, that call these models and uh, 
represent uh, the output and uh, also within the data flows where uh, the model's output can be uh, embedded into the data lake or the data warehouse. So all in all, we've seen that um, an approach, a modern approach uh, for, uh, using uh, Synapse and Power BI, we can empower our people to become da uh, data driven, in increase our speed to deliver analytical insights, and uh, most of all, be able to innovate easily. Uh, in a fast paced world, uh, this provides a competitive advantage. Uh, while at the same time, uh, we can uh, achieve economies of scale as all the work that uh, and all the capabilities that are added in, into our uh, workloads and uh, our uh, analytical assets also enhance the value of uh, the capabilities that we already had in place.